Holstein in Yorkshire. Land of the gods. I'm being joined by a friend of mine called Ian Lawrence. Um, Ian earlier in the year invited me to a uh, a wood uh, down his uh, down his end, and um, I basically stayed in the trees and uh, swung in a hammock, and that was a fantastic experience. Didn't really do a lot of bushcrafting stuff, so tonight. Ian is uh, joining me in Flamborough and we are going to use uh, a lot of nature's wares, trees and uh, rocks and all this sort of stuff and create a home from home. Don't know how it's going to turn out. I've got a lot of the gear but not a lot of the idea. So um, big learning curve. Version, if you look at Ian's version of this start, it's a lot more organised than, than my sort of ad hoc, let's just go with the flow. We're, um, we're going to do stuff outdoors and we're at, um, we're at Flamborough. Um, this isn't far away from my neck of the woods, it's about a two hour drive Sorry. for you isn't it? <laughs> uh, this is Ian Lawrence, um, his videos um, are at, he's on his channel and he's got some real cracking stuff. Predominantly bushcraft, some wild camping, um, he's a great crack and this is just going to be a good video. So. Um, yeah, lots of lots of stuff going on, and this is how I'm sort of rolling. Um, did you take them round and show them? No, oh, right no, that's not what it's about. It's not about that. It's not is about it? that. We, just, we don't know what it's about. It's not planned. It's not about my head, is it? Well, let's not talk about. It. You, need, you need one of these things on my head. I've got a spare one. I'll give you one of them later. Right, here we go. Is this any good to you? Yeah, that's awesome. These are just good, you're videoing me, aren't you? <laughs> These are very good. They're nice and all. Some of the cheaper ones, though, they taste like, right, sloppy, like lard. But these are nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. Right, and now here's the other side to Ian's personality. <laughs> what do you think to protein bars? Protein bars, why? Why? Why is it called a protein bar? You get protein in your general... If you get a good diet, you'll get protein from it anyway. You don't need them, people. Low carbohydrate, you need carbohydrate. It's a carbohydrate you need, not the protein. The carbohydrate, if you get low to medium glycemic carbohydrates, you're going to be fine. But if G you give me that. pumping yourself full of protein... Look, you know I only have I have quarter of an hour videos in. I ain't got time for this. You digest the protein and turn to fat. So basically... You're walking! Go on, Jim! <laughs> so, so much. That's where you'd look out over the Germans. I wanted to go to the top of here and go left. Do it again, it keeps, it keeps video being sneaky. Right, I want. We don't know what we're doing. I want to go werewolf hunting and I want to look for a grey haired woman that haunts people. What do you want to do, PH? Yeah, you ain't got a clue what you want to do, have you? I'm not no, so basically I win. He's got a point. Yeah, he's got a point. <laughs> it's a bit like deja vu, isn't it? Ghostbusters! Did you used to earn money singing? No. <laughs> <laughs> Vines! We're not swinging like Tarzan. Come and look. Come and look. We're walking through somebody's fire pit here. I know cordage when I see it, mate. That's right strong. Oh, it's, it's a bit rotten, but... Uh. It's strong but rotten? It's rotten, it's strong. And there's loads of them. Right, we know where to get cordage.
that's our outdoor hot tub for the evening. <sighs> Plenty of chemicals in there, mate. Keep your skin nice and clean. Great for your complexion. I won't need any soap in there, old cock. No, to keep the air nice and ginger. Mmm. Nice and ginger. Nice bit of foam. Good, good sign that you've got some good quality chemicals. All them dead animals floating in it as well is a good sign. Very positive. Indeed. At least there's not going to be any bugs in there for us to filter out. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll pass. Um. Really grateful to Ian. Um, Coming out into the wilderness with him and, you know, looking and all the nooks and crannies and, you know, is, is this, is this something that we can eat and all this sort of stuff? Because otherwise you're just going to starve out here. So I'm really grateful for his skills at finding stuff in the wild because otherwise I'd just be so hungry. <laughs> this, is an un this, is, this is an alive discussion. Well, it's live when it was filmed, put it that way. <laughs> This is basically a survival lover's tiff going on right here. If we build a campfire down here in that corner, then we sleep at the top, the heat from the campfire is going to come up and it's going to neutralise that wind. You follow me? Yeah, that's a valid... And then, and then we can walk in to get his water from right down there. Which right. is not going to be that far. Because if we go up onto the top of the cliffs, then we're going to keep coming down into the valley to collect the water. It's going to be colder up there because the wind's going to come straight up the top of there. Yeah, okay. But if there's more, if, surely if there's more trees up there, then we can build some kind of shelter. I mean, like a blockade to stop the draft coming through and, and you know knock it fire out. If we've got a fire on the other side at shelter, then that'll keep us warm. Yeah. We could, yeah. So we, if we do like a like a reflector fire, that's what they call it, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a fire reflector, yeah. So if we do that down there, but we couldn't do it here because this is a public place. But we could do it down there. Then tomorrow morning, just disperse it. Nobody, if anybody sees the cap, I don't leave anything. So we've been out there. And there's lots of stone down here, and there's lots of stuff in there to produce. We're best off further down into that valley. And it is, it's a, it's a washout, basically. It's basically a flood valley. But there aren't any floods, we've got no, no rain to. So you now want to go back that way? How many times has it we've been up there now? I've been up there once, I've been up there once. I don't like being in, I, I, I don't... What we've been thinking of doing... We I spend it, yeah, <laughs> we're thinking oh, <laughs> what's thinking of doing, we're building a fire down here, spending like some time next to the sea and then going up onto the tops and sleeping up there. But I like that feeling that you you know when you're sleeping next to your fire and you've got all your stuff around you, that's what I like. So rather than just split it up and not have a proper camp, I'd rather go back down there, build a camp, and have a fire have a wind reflector, which I don't think you'll need to be no, down there because this is there's no wind down, down there. Uh, and then we can have a fire down there, cook down there, build a, a sleep bed, down everything they want in that local area. Do you remember how many paths there are down there? There's loads of traffic down there. I know we're trying to put it in. <laughs> it can't be no worse than here. This is the problem with coming to Flamborough and Dainsdyke, it's a public area. If you look up Moors or somewhere, it's a totally different matter. I mean, if all these people weren't here, we could build a fire here, we could have a sleep mats next to it. And all that business, we can't because there's people here, so we've got to... So next time we're going to Chernobyl. <laughs> this reminds me of Nam. Daggy Nam. This thing we're getting in, like involved with YouTube was another show. Look, you're talking over there to trees and that's just wrong. Uh, trees, oh, weeds. Oh. Oh, 
Right okay, so Mr. Laidlaw. Bushcraft chair win. Whoop whoop. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Laidlaw. Bushcraft chair win. Whoop whoop. <laughs> if you can take, if you can take a laid low, that's not bad. That's <laughs> cock on, is that, mate? All right, yeah. It does its job. That is, that's how I'm rolling. <laughs> it's quite comfy, mate. You should have built yourself one. Yeah. It's only taken four weeks. It just, it just seems so much simpler to sit on my sleeping bag. Well, see, my sleeping bag's about the size of a grapefruit. Though. That's a different. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, it's good that mate, I'm genuinely impressed. Win. Bush Top marks. Win. So you like your new axe then? Oh yeah, the Fisker. Um, Ian kindly gave me this. Um, and he's given me a little bit of a tutorial. Do's and don'ts, which is absolutely fine. And I can quite honestly say that it is razor sharp. <laughs> um, and I've, I've cut logs at fire and bits for this. And, and yeah, you've made your chair. Fantastic, yeah, really pleased with that. Top marks! <laughs> Those of you loyal enough to uh, have watched the last video, before this one, will remember this. That's right, this is my smug look. So what I've done, is I've made bannock bread and a can of plum tomatoes with an oxo cube in. But basically, that's food! And then this is Ian's. Now that is the gluten alternative of uh, duck, uh, sweet and sour sauce, and some like peppered rice. And I've had a go with that, and that is good. And this guy, this guy here, he can't cook. But that is very, that's very edible. It's called mock duck. Mock duck, yep. Apparently it's available from Holland and Barrett. And was invented by monks. It, it was invented by... It was invented by monks who couldn't eat or weren't allowed to eat meat. While so monkeying about? Yeah, 75% gluten and some other oils and stuff. And it's very, very healthy for you. Apart from, no, it's not, it is, but it's not because like gluten. Don't start me. Don't. I'm going to eat my food. I'm going to eat, eat my, my, I'm going to eat my food. <laughs> Bye. This just gives you first hand perspective of the, like the life of a YouTuber, you know, you do a little bit of filming and then you sit there and you watch yourself. Meanwhile, this is Bacon Grill, all right. Did we survive? Oh yes. This is us away, this is the camp as we are leaving it. All the uh, bedding remains, fire remains, uh, remains got doused. There's absolutely no heat there at all. Cast asunder. Cast asunder. And we've actually made a potential little wildlife habitat for uh, the bugs as it's getting a bit colder to um, make a bit of a home out of. So that's great. Um, we're gonna do a bit of a, a, a muddy scramble up the hill and start heading back towards the cars. Good wild camp. Top marks. <laughs>